Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, we're going to be pruning some stone fruits today. I have some cherries that you see right in front of you guys. These are semi-dwarf trees. Um, I also did a video recently on some Espalier stone fruits. We did some plums and then we also did some peaches that I have. Different ages, we did different videos on that. Go and check those out if you're interested. But these are more along the, the more natural form that you'll see the more goblet shape, open center type trees. Uh, especially in a backyard orchard, you're gonna usually cut them down your first year to your knee. Um, and then it's gonna branch out from there to lower height. Unfortunately, these didn't really cooperate with that, that mindset. They didn't really branch out all that much. And I, looking back on it, I struggled pretty hard with the form on these trees. But they're finally coming into their own a little bit. You can see there's a lot of growth up top that is really coming in this year. There's a lot of one-year-old wood. And, and what this means to me is that there's not going to be a whole lot of fruit because if there's a lot of one-year-old wood, that's not where the spurs form. The flowers form on the two-year-old growth or the three-year-old growth, um, and that's it. So you have to kind of recycle this process continually so what I'm going to do is try to develop a dense canopy up top. Um, and I wish I could have developed this canopy down lower, but it is what it is. Um, so we're going to come in here and try to just basically draw a line and cut these all back to a certain height. Because I want them to continue to branch out as they have in, in prior years. Like we made a cut right here last year and now we have this long shoot. We have this long shoot. Made a cut right here, now we have three long shoots. Made a cut right there, now we have three. So that's kind of the goal here is I'm going to keep continuing that, that process of bringing these guys back and then getting them to branch out. And that's really it. So I'm just going to do this and we're going to show you guys some other trees I have that are more densely planted. And this is hopefully going to make a lot of sense to you guys. But, uh, yeah, I would totally recommend in the future that if you guys are doing this yourself, really focus on that form from the beginning. It's going to make things a lot easier, a lot more fruitful as well. I'm sort of right now bringing this stuff back to about five or six buds, which is a lot of growth that's going to come off of these trees. But um, I want this canopy here to be formed densely. And I sort of just said, you know what, these trees are kind of like a specimen tree. Because when you come right out, right behind you guys is the steps, you come right out to the backyard, you see these trees pretty much immediately. This one's growing towards the center, so I'm going to cut all that out. This one's also kind of growing towards the center, we'll cut that out. And I'm just really cutting all this one-year-old growth back. It's really as simple as that. I mean. I wish there was more sense to all this, um, but it's really this my objectives right now for these trees. And um, this one here, I guess we can let this one branch out at a higher point, about right there. This is sort of growing towards the center, but I think we can kind of deal with this. Uh, or maybe I should cut it back all the way here. Uh, we got some growth up here. We're just going to do this very quickly here, guys. And that's pretty much one cherry tree down right there. Um, same thing over here. And, you know, a lot of you guys might be thinking, holy crap, that's a lot of growth to be, to be taking off these trees. But you know what? Um, Should have done this a long time ago. Should have done this years ago to get them to branch out where I wanted them to. And now I'm sort of paying for it. And as a result, they're really not all that productive for me. I do want to make this tree in particular a bit taller than the other. Um, and the reason for that is simply just due to the fact that the way that the sun, the angle of the sun, and it's just a, uh, that's really it. Yeah, we're gonna bring this one up a little bit higher. 
because the sun comes over here and if this tree is taller it's going to kind of block some sun reaching this tree over here this is the white gold so the black gold is really going to block the sun reaching the white gold but that's sort of it guys that's all that all that growth for nothing but just real quick i'm going to bring you guys in and show you this So here's all those fruit buds, and I have it on autofocus. Let me, uh, let me take it off autofocus. Okay. So you can see those little fruit buds there. Those is, that is where these, these uh, flowers are gonna come out. They come out in clusters. It's about six or seven cherries right there. And you can see them. And this is on the older wood. But on the new growth, this stuff doesn't fruit. These are just normal growth buds here. So that's sort of what we're doing is that we're kind of getting all this stuff up here to grow and put out new one-year-old wood. This, these branches here from this just length will have uh, fruit spurs on it next year. We kind of just continually renew that process year after year. Let me show you guys now some other trees. These are plums, apricots. Um, I think we have some pluots in here. We also have a peach in here. Just a whole medley of different uh, stone fruits in this row that I would like to show you guys very quickly what we're going to do. This peach is not doing well. I think there's something wrong with the, uh, the tree itself and it's likely dead. Um, if I cut into this, that's dead. And you can tell if it's dead by yeah, this tree is probably dead um, by the cambium. If you don't see any green underneath the bark, then it is dead. But I am seeing slight amount of green, so we'll leave it alone. I'm not going to mess with it. Here we have some plums that are rootstock, and I could, if I wanted to, graft onto these. Essentially, all I'm going to do is cut this back to a single stem width. And if I get myself some scion, I can do some grafting this year onto these two very small trees. And I probably should do some grafting. So I have to find myself two varieties that I want, even if I have them here myself. This is an apricot. It's got a lot of fruit wood on it. It's really good to see. I'm really happy about that because apricots are basically my favorite nowadays. And I'm essentially going to What am I going to do with these trees here? Sort of bring back the height a little bit. I think I'm going to take this entire branch out right here because it's growing towards the other trees. And I could, if I wanted to, turn these other trees down here into apricots. So I think I'm going to leave that stick there and maybe do some grafting. Um, I'll save that for some grafting wood. This is a lot of fruit wood up here. I don't want to mess with that because <laughs> I really like my fruit especially on this apricot. So I think we'll leave this tree alone and we'll do some summer pruning. This guy is potentially dead, um, as sad as that is. And then this plum back here really got out of control. And you can see how long these shoots are. It's crazy. Um, I'm going to have to bring all this back. Because these trees really, they should have been pruned at... Uh, at a height that is more conducive for picking them, right? I mean, it's kind of a shame how this is all working out, but I can always correct this, you know? I mean, it's lessons learned, essentially, is that we should have cut this. I mean, you can see how long this trunk is. It's got a trunk that's basically five feet tall. So because of that, we're just gonna have a giant tree that's going to be very difficult to maintain. So I'm only going to cut that off and then in the summer I'm going to do a lot of summer pruning on this. Just bring some of this back. That'll be about it I think. Here we have an apricot that's really going a little bit crazy. Um, I'm going to leave this tree alone because of how weird it is. And I'm sort of training a new trunk on this one to take over right here actually 
and eventually we're going to get rid of this weird stuff down here. Here's a very long water chute. I'm going to take this out. In fact, this is the apricot that I want. This is the super awesome variety. I think that one's early blush. And this one's tomcot. Tomcot's supposed to do really well here, but I'll tell you that early blush is just incredible. Um, I may have stepped on one of my raspberries there, but that's okay. All right, so we have any other really, this is another really crazy water shoot off of this. We're gonna take that off. This plum over here is actually putting out some good, good amount of fruit, it looks like. In fact, it looks like it wants to start to bud out a little bit. So hopefully we can slow that process down. I'm just thinning that out. And this tree also, we're gonna bring back the height. These are just the two big problem childs. Uh, we all got one, right? Um, and uh, yeah, that's all I'll do with that. Again, I mean, if these were all pruned at my knee and had all this branching that you see up at the top, but it was down here, it would make a lot more sense. So I think that's my big lesson for you guys today. I'm also gonna come in here and cut out a couple more of these water shoots down here. This is just ridiculous. Taking out a lot of growth off of that tree. This branch is growing towards the center of this planting. I have these, by the way. I have three in this hole, four in that hole, and four in that hole. And they're spaced three feet apart. So very dense spacing, kind of like my apples, if you guys saw the video we did on those. Really crazy how close they are together. We're going to bring some of this back. And we're going to go crazy with the summer pruning. Um, for sure. I mean, that's pretty much my goal. A big goal of mine this season is to really get the summer pruning going. And uh, that'll kind of keep these trees a bit in check in terms of their size. And also it'll make them more fruitful. So that's always good. And then this is kind of it here, guys. I'm just cutting them back, really no meaning to this. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video here. It's getting real cold, my hands are freezing. So I'll thank you guys here for watching this one. Check us out on Fig Boss and uh, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and we will see you guys soon, all right? Subscribe. We'll see you for tomorrow's video. Take care, everybody.